Ladies and gentlemen, today I am here to bring you a Spice and Wolf related video. Very odd, it really is. You want to know why? This is my favorite series of all time, but I haven't really made any videos on it. Very odd. It really is. I mean, majority of you that have been around for a long time know how much I love Spice Wolf. You've seen my wall scrolls, you've seen the body pillow, you, you, you've you seen pretty much me talk about it a lot. Holo in general. And it's odd, I have never really made a video centered around Spice and Wolf. Like, I don't really do that much, which, it, it, it's weird. But here's the thing, okay? I have this question asked quite a bit to me. Like, every time I sometimes mention Spice and Wolf, I always have Chibis asking me, Okay, so Chibis, so should I read the manga? Should I watch the anime? Should I read the light novels? There's always Chibis asking these questions. I've seen it quite a few times over the course of months, and I felt like I should actually make this video dedicated to steering you on the proper course if you want to experience that Spice and Wolf greatness because I get asked a lot, a lot of people go and watch the anime and then they, they think that's it, like, or that's just a cliffhanger we're left on, which sadly, we're never going to be able to have probably a season 3, like, it, it's pretty much the half-life of anime, that, that's pretty much what Spice and Wolf is, like, we will never get a half-life 3 and we're never going to get a Spice and Wolf 3, like, fuck no, like, we're, we're never getting it because Spice Wolf is so damn good, but we, we all want it. Like, anyone that's watched Spice and Wolf and has seen it and read it, they know how good it is. Like, oh, it, it's a really good series, but it, it's like the half-life of the anime community. It is. So here's the thing. I want to steer you the proper path. So I get the question a lot, like, okay, so Chibi, what should I start with? Should I start with the light novel? Should I start with the manga? Or should I start with the actual anime series? Now... I have actually personally have read the light novel and the manga, and I have watched the anime. Now, I first started with the anime when I got into Spice and Wolf. I will be real here. I got into the anime first, and it was actually one of the first few series I started when I was first getting into anime a long time ago. Like, when I was really getting into the anime vibe, Spice and Wolf was one of the first gems I discovered. And ever since I watched it, it really has become my favorite series of all time. It really has. Now, just because it's my favorite doesn't mean it is the best of all time, but it's just my personal favorite of all time. Now, a lot of people really judge this series just because they've probably seen certain aspects of it, maybe Holo being nude or something like that, and they're quick to judge thinking like it's a fan service type series, which it is not. It's really not. But I want to save my actual descriptions and talking about, you know, Spice and Wolf like in depth for another video way off into the future. Pretty much, if I would have to recommend the proper path, I would say... Watch the anime. Watch season one of Spice and Wolf, and then I would recommend getting the volume four of the light novel. Let me explain. So Spice and Wolf, for the most part, when it comes to season one and season two, it follows the actual light novels. Now, the manga came after the light novels and the anime, so I'm just letting you know. I don't recommend starting with the manga first, because really, it, it, it's slightly altered. I mean, it's the same, but it's slightly altered, and it's dumbed down compared to the light novel, and even the anime in general. So, I really, I, I can't really recommend Spice and Wolf's manga. It has a lot more nudity, which was quite shocking, because in the light novel and in the anime, there was no nudity whatsoever, like, nudity, hentai type looking scenes, like, you know, just straight up getting to see nipples on Holo, and it actually shows this in the manga, and I'm like, what the hell, when I, when I first read this, like, when I first got this volume, and I see stuff like that, I'm like, like, what, like, what, like, yeah, I'm like, what, so, it, it, it was quite shocking to see, but here's the thing, okay, I'd recommend watching the first season of the anime, Picking up Volume 4 or, you know, reading from Volume 1 if you want to. I mean, if you want the full narration and full inner dialogue of the characters, I would recommend, you know, starting with the light novels. I would, the original source. But if you really want to watch it in anime format, if then you want to go to the light novel, I recommend watching the first season, going to Volume 4, reading Volume 4's light novel, finish Season 2, and then go to Volume 6. Because Volume 5 was completely adapted, like, all the volumes that was adapted, Volumes 1, 2, 3, and 5 were adapted 
by the season one and season two of Spice and Wolf, which it was properly adapted, like beautiful. It was really, really beautiful. The only thing that was really cut out was the inner dialogue, inner psyche of Lawrence and Holo. So that's the only thing you really missed. But when it came to the pacing and the adaptation, it was beautiful, just straight up beautiful. Two volumes in 12 episodes, like season one and season two are split off into 12 episodes, 12 to 13 episodes. So it's pretty simple to watch. It's like a 24 episode series in total. And it's really fun if you just want to sit down and watch something very good and unique. So, it's a really easy series to get into depending on your mindset of the series. So, let's actually explain this, okay? So, after you finish Season 2 of the anime, you're going to be left on one of the worst cliffhangers you're ever going to experience. I I I'm just saying right now, I've lived with this cliffhanger since the end of Season 2 when it first aired, and I I've suffered ever since. I have really suffered. Thank God! Yen Press has took up the mantle of Spice and Wolf, and they are translating the light novel. Like, we're way past season two when it comes to light novels. Like, there's a total of 17 volumes in Japan. Spice and Wolf is already done. It's finished in Japan. And we're already on volume 13 that's been translated in America right now in the States. And so, there's like a volume, like a Spice and Wolf light novel volume released every six to four months, pretty much. And so, it, it's pretty simple to get and catch up to the series. I mean, if you like reading a light novel, as you know, as a book. And it's very dialogue heavy. Like, the series is dialogue heavy because there's a lot of economics in it. But the thing is, that's my recommendation if you want to get into the Spice and Wolf series. I could ramble on for hours, so I'm just going to set that aside for the review if I do a new up-to-date review in the future. Because when I first did a review, I actually was still trying to get used to being a really good reviewer, I want to be honest. Now that I've gotten more adept at looking at the inner workings of a series, and I went back to read Spice and Wolf for like the third or fourth time... I pretty much can make a good analysis on how Spice and Wolf is. So, that's pretty much it. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully you all enjoyed this, you know, video of me letting you know what path you should take if you want to get into Spice and Wolf. If you want to see more videos kind of like this in the future, for depending on series I have watched or read and I talk a lot about but I don't really have any videos on, let me know in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.